Good morning, guys. It has been pouring down rain all morning, but the sun has come out. But we were going to go to the flea market today. Kind of the rain kind of ruined my Sunday plans. Just shop around for I don't know, baby. Thing. I haven't been to flea market in a minute. Uh, baby things or things, but I didn't really have anything like specific. I was going for we just kind of wanted to go to the flea market and i woke up around six o'clock in the morning when i was needed to start getting ready to leave and it was pouring down rain and i was like the flea market in the rain just doesn't sound that much fun if they even set up you know what i mean like the vendors and stuff it just it would it complicates things we decided not to go but we will go to the flea market next weekend is a couple actually you're never gonna believe this but i'm still working on this room upstairs the back yeah oh it's gonna take like it's gonna take like two hours three hours i want to so um, i want to be able to get it before i go to my game tonight oh uh okay yeah i'll go with you and we can go to juice crafters i'm kind of craving like fresh an acai bowl with fruit and <sighs> granola and things there's right next to where he needs to go is is a juice crafter so okay changing plans i will show you the upstairs i have made so much progress and i have organized a lot of the decor and we're going to do some more today and some other things i gotta pick up from mckenna okay sorry we're back over again we're gonna work on the upstairs also do other things just like still prepping like there's so much prep work that goes into the before i can even start working on a makeover so once i get all of that stuff out of the cabinets i can figure out how it's attached and we can remove the cabinets and have the space i've also been looking um, online at the different sizes of cribs they're all pretty standard size for the most part, they do have like mini versions, which we don't need. We have plenty of space for, um, but <laughs> it's kind of exciting. I've never got to shop for like baby things. So we're gonna, so we're gonna head upstairs. I'm gonna take my vitamins first. A big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video because they're still having their New Year sale right now, which is the largest sale that I've ever seen them have. It's 40% off your first order of all of Ritual's clean, traceable, and science-backed products. So I've been taking Ritual's multivitamin 18 plus for years now, and their Symbiotic Plus when they came out with that. But of course, since I'm pregnant now and we're 19 weeks and three days to 19 yeah sunday 19 weeks and three days today and i feel like oh, i'm getting the belly's getting bigger the baby's the size of a mango now which is crazy six inches uh so since i'm pregnant i switched over to their prenatal vitamin and this has everything that i need because the first thing my doctor told me on our first appointment was that i needed to take a prenatal vitamin for sure and also one that had folic acid and dha so to make sure that those two ingredients were in there and this does have it rituals essential prenatal is the first prenatal made traceable with 12 clinically studied ingredients for before and during pregnancy because i actually Actually did start taking a prenatal vitamin when we were trying to get pregnant and it's really to help build key nutrient levels needed to support a healthy pregnancy what I've always loved about ritual is that their capsules are delayed release so it bypasses the stomach and actually dissolves in the small intestine so these are really gentle on the stomach so you can take them with or without food which is really good if you are like me in your first trimester and go through like the period where you're just super nauseous and you don't want food it's just the aversion was really strong. So I liked that I could go ahead and take my vitamins without having to eat something with it. They're also formulated without GMOs, gluten, or major allergens. So really, really good. Take advantage of this extra percentage because I've never seen them do this before. So you guys can go to ritual.com slash exomechanna40 for 40% off your purchase to look at all of their products. So normally the prenatal vitamins are around $39, but with my code, it's $23 and like 40 cents. So definitely check it out. So I'm ready. I have to take, I need an extra dose of vitamin D. Don't we all? I also have to stand outside in the sunshine for 15 minutes every day just to make sure I'm getting enough vitamin D. Let me take you guys upstairs. Let me show you what I did. I actually went through all of my art and figured out the ones that kind of are really important to me. We also need to go to Ikea and return those three. I have racked my brain 
to try and figure out if we could utilize three additional cabinets like the ones that we put upstairs and we just don't need them quite like that they're either too deep or too small or just like unnecessary places not that we don't need the storage we just need the right kind of storage so i got all of these delivered but we're gonna have to figure out how to get them back so i'm, I'm thinking that they're gonna fit but we've got quite a bit i mean that return is quite substantial so I, I definitely want to bring them back if i can and i think ikea has like a year return policy so and they're unopened so we can totally do it so we've done actually a lot more work in here i brought my old vanity in here for romeo a van looks so funny like that that looks so weird i don't know why he pushed it in i had it like kind of off to the side uh, so I brought my old vanity in here because I wasn't using it. It was in the guest bedroom. And I'd like to have another place for another kind of storage cabinet for the baby. Uh, so he was like, oh, I could use that as a desk. I was like, yeah, I made it. I mean, it's good. I was pretty proud of this whole little situation. He's going to use that now. I don't know why he didn't use it before. We have to go get handles. I literally can't do it. I went one day to that hardware store that I wanted to check first, um, but they had already closed. It was like 4, 4.30. I forgot they closed at like two or something. So, okay. I went through all of my art and picked out the ones that were super, super important to me and frames that were more ornate, more original, um, more unique. And the art, of course, that we got from like France and stuff is in here, like all here. My mom's I like paintings and stuff that she's painted me. But like all of these are in here. So that was like kind of perfect, but there are more. And then I have this spot and this spot. So we need to move decor over here. But we've also made like a donation pile and gone through things that like and put them in proper places. I still don't know what to do with like the multitude of pillows that I have that I change out every season. It's almost like I wish I just had pillow covers and not so many pillows with inserts so I could just like swap them out and they would pack better. This is how we're looking. All of this, this is all empty. So made progress there. All the drawers are empty. All the drawers are empty. And this side is pretty much empty. I think I have a few more like a cold weather leggings for like snow. Like when we go like uh, for underneath my like snow pants when we go snowboarding and stuff. But I'm like, I don't really, I never snowboard anymore because I always fall. So all we have left is right here. So I've got books and vases and things. I wanna do the books first because I wanna kind of stack them in the back. This I got at the estate sale. That was kind of a weird estate sale. Uh, this one is a lot, it's solid marble. It's so cool. It is a lamp. Um, they have it strung like a lamp, but it, you know, is missing its end, its plug portion. Um, and it's pretty old. That's pretty old wiring, but I thought it would be equally as beautiful as a, like a vase, you know, I haven't quite figured out a place for it or <laughs> I just I don't just don't know. Sometimes I just come across stuff like that that I just feel like is too good to pass up on. You know, it's like, I can't leave this behind because then I will find that perfect spot or that perfect project for it and I will remember it. It was, it's like a an estate sale find that will haunt me if I don't get it. I also have like a lot of vases and things. I definitely become a lot less attached to things that I got from like big box stores, like Target and things like that. Like I just, like I don't need this. Like this is, I feel like I'll end up donating this. Even though it's a pretty little vase, but like I have prettier vases. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I remember when I got it, it was the first bedroom makeover that I did in our apartment. I did, wasn't really in big, big into like flea marketing and estate sale. like I didn't really do that type of stuff yet. So I wasn't really exposed to what I'm exposed to now. So I've, I've moved on, you know? All these books pretty much came from one lady. She was like, I don't want to haul these books anymore. I was at a flea market at the Pasadena one. She's like, I don't want to haul these books anymore. I'll give you a good deal. I think I got them all for about a dollar to $2, maybe in between like a dollar 50. And they were all like architecture and interior design books. And they were really good. Some of these I had before, like I had all these art books before. I just want to like organize them by size too. 
take some in there. Like book of furniture, interior decorating, good housekeeping book of home decoration. Copyright 1954. House and gardens complete guide to interior decorating. <laughs> oh, this is my chess set. I love this chess set. I got it at the flea market and it's stone. It's so pretty. Um, I actually wanted it on display all the time in the formal living room and we don't sit in a lot. I felt like it would like be a cool little piece. I might actually put it out because now that we have the toppers and everything, I know it's stone on stone, but it might be really pretty. At first I had them laying down, but I think they actually will stand up next to each other. I don't have quite as many as I thought I had, which is good. I did put some downstairs. It's hard for me to get them out, like a specific book if they're stacked. So let's see. This is a children's book that I got for a dollar at the flea market. It's weird that I know where I got everything from. I don't remember all prices unless they're like that. Like this one was like, I remember putting it back. And I was like, I don't need that. <laughs> um, but then she was like a dollar. I was like, okay. And I this was at the Pasadena flea market too. It's the Land of Memory, Children's Bluebird, Madame Maurice, Maiderlink. It's hard to see it's kind of like rub, rubbed off but it's little like short stories and it was published in 1913 and it is so cute <laughs> it's so cute i love it i put that one in the nursery <laughs> already so i don't forget i have it complete works of william shakespeare love that for me oh my god they're gonna fit like perfectly I could not have planned that better. I still, to this day, collect books because if you remember at the cottage, I had tons of books. I remember going to one specific estate sale specifically because they had like tons of books. It was, it. after I went, I realized that it was an estate sale uh, run by an estate sale company that was utilizing this massive house that they were doing an estate sale in, but they brought a whole bunch more stuff from like past estate sales that maybe hadn't sold. I think they had a store too. So it was a lot, there was a lot there. And I remember seeing boxes and boxes and boxes of old books, I like I have to go. And they were all within the price range that I liked between a dollar to $5 a piece, depending on what the contents are. And I bought a bunch of them because I really wanted to do this detail at the top of the bookshelves in the cottage that was just lined with books because it was too tall to do anything accessible or decorate up there. And I just thought it would be like a really pretty like cap topper up there and it looks so good. And I used literally almost every book that I had bought for that detail. So I still am on the hunt. I still look for them. If I get them at the right price, you know, for that in that dollar range, do dollar to five dollars is like usually my range in good contents like poetry, architecture, um, interior design, travel, sometimes travel, really popular, well known novels. Um, I'll go ahead and get them. So, so always keep your eyes peeled and and always hardback, not paperback. Although I have a lot to say today. Although when I went to Paris, I was at the Paris flea markets. I was very into paperback books when I was in Paris. Don't ask me why. I don't know. It's like a switch. And I was like, oh, I like paperbacks <laughs> now. I didn't get too many. I got a few, but they were like really pretty. They still had really pretty covers. So. Actually, I take it back. Not so perfect because I've got more books on the sides. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do another stack. So now we'll start adding in decor. I wanna put like candlesticks together, vases together, trinkets together. I don't know why, but it's just always been such a mess that I'd like to kind of keep, you know, there's to be like an order to something. I've used pretty much all of my candle sticks besides those two. So we can do vases. Let's see if this one. Yeah, it fits. Looks like that. I 
do realize that it is going to be super annoying to get books out. But most of the time when I'm decorating anyways, I'm kind of like playing with lots of different stuff. So odds are some of these things are going to be like placed and like pulled out anyways. Just I just don't access it a ton. You know, just when I like redecorate a section or I'm doing like a new room. It's fine. It's so deep. I've got to utilize the space. I can't wait until we redo the kitchen, renovate the kitchen. Um, I love, love. Not that we would use it, um, but I got it from the flea market for $20. Maybe even less. Sometimes when it's marked, maybe I got it for $15. Want like a whole section, like a whole wall to have like glass doors and part of that in there to be our like coffee bar. And I want like coffee things you know like decorations too but this is just like so pretty i loved the handle on it the grinder handle and it's brass might use one of these for like i have like some small dishes and plates that need some order I could put I have um I have another shelf I have two shelves actually I could put another shelf like shallow and so this could be like trinkety bowl things and then I can have a taller one on top now we've officially done it and I figured out how these were you know attached to the wall they are built in you have to kind of uncalk you know like cut along the seams and stuff and just like disassemble it really because I just feel like it's such a wasted space in the center here and I put another shelf up there, but I have nothing to put on it. So that's really good. I have extra storage. Also, like some of them aren't even like filled. Uh, so I have a lot more room than I did before even. And I've gone through a lot, but this looks really good. It makes me really happy. Now we just got to get handles. We'll go in the morning. It's actually getting dark again. It's like it's going to rain again. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Rained all night and it's gonna rain all day today. The sun's peeking through a little bit, but I think it's, <laughs> it's gonna rain. It's like, not, I love the rain. It's like nice and cozy, but it also makes you feel lazy. And everything that we thought of for Romeo and I to accomplish, you know, like, okay, we can take those boxes to Ikea. Oh no, it's pouring down rain. We can organize the other frames and art in the garage and take this cabinet, this this cabinet that we have outside. Oh no, it's raining. We could do some projects that, I have some projects that I wanna do outside. It's raining. Like everything we thought of, we were just like, well, doing things inside. So at least I got that done. I wanna try and venture over to, maybe hopefully venture over to see if we can find some handles and that a whole project is done. So we can move on, start working on the nursery. I'm really excited. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you again on Thursday for another one. We might try and just venture out today to just run some like errands and stuff. But besides that, I'm really excited to get started on the nursery and start a makeover. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye guys.